So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm here to walk you through a fun, easy, simple, something I think that's really budget friendly uh, if you're cooking for a family. Um, it's an American Heart Association recipe from their website. Um, it is the Southwestern Quinoa and Egg Breakfast Bowl. And I, one of the reasons I picked this recipe and I really love it is because you can do so many different things with it. It's super versatile. It's really great. Oops, so there's a timer I have of it. All right, so what that was for was the quinoa portion. Um, so I went ahead and got the quinoa started. Um, so we're gonna pull it off the heat and check it. So the quinoa in this recipe, you can use whatever quinoa you want, whatever you have on hand. Um, to cook it, just follow the bagged instructions. Um, I went ahead and made a large batch. The recipe only calls for a quarter cup of cooked dried quinoa. Uh, so here, I need a little bit of steam. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna fluff it just kind of like you would rice. Um, so I cooked this very similarly, ooh, steamy glasses. All right, <laughs> so I cooked this like how you would cook rice. Um, so for my bag, it was two parts of liquid to one part of quinoa. Um, so I went ahead and did a cup of quinoa and two cups of liquid. Um, and so in here, so what I'm just doing, I'm fluffing it and I'm checking to see, is there any residual liquid? So there's still a little bit of liquid left, which means I'm gonna give it just a little bit more time. So cover that. To start the recipe off, you're gonna start with your quinoa. Um, actually, let me backtrack. First thing you're gonna do whenever you start cooking, whenever you work with food, wash your hands. And I know so many of us have learned or relearned and just have that reinforce how important it is. It's so important when you're working with food to wash your hands before you start. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've washed them before, but I'll go ahead and do it one more time. Um, and then we will get started on the vegetable prep. One cool trick uh, for quinoa, if you wanna get more flavor into it, um, you can go ahead and use uh, vegetable stock. Um, or if you wanted, you could use a chicken or a beef. Vegetables easiest. I went ahead and bought an unsalted version um, to really keep that sodium down in the recipe, to not add too much more, but to really give us a good boost of flavor. So, quinoa is going. Cook according to your bag instructions. Um, you can cook a large batch ahead of time. Um, and, or you can just make what the recipe calls for. So with that, we've got avocado, uh, tomatoes, um, and we're actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of our tomatoes that we've grown here at home. Um, so mainly cherry, a couple of very small beef steaks, um, but we grow those in our garden here. Uh, we have green onions, cilantro, if that's something that you enjoy. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of cilantro, so I am leaving it out. Um, and then corn. So you can do either frozen corn that you can steam or you can buy canned corn. Um, and then something I'm adding to this recipe is beans. Um, so I'm doing, so these are reduced sodium black bean uh, to kind of go with that Southwestern feeling. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this can of beans open and at least just get drained. Um, we don't really need to rinse them. We just need to get them drained. Uh, so crack that open, run over to the sink. Uh, so we have our beans drained. Beans are a great way to add more protein, some fiber, just really great nutrition to a dish. Additionally, uh, this is a quinoa and egg bowl. However, if you wanted to make it vegetarian, you could easily take out the eggs and just use black beans. Uh, any fresh vegetable or anything um, with a skin that you're going to eat, you wanna wash. So with avocados, we don't eat the skin. So you don't have to wash those. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take the pit out. And the way that I was taught was to go ahead and take your knife, get it in a good tight grip, tap the pit, twist, and then pull this away. And then the way to remove the pit is to pinch the blade right here next to the pit and pull. So you don't move the knife, you only pull this. So we go ahead, we've got our avocado pitted, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and scoop it out and then dice it. 
So take a spoon and just run it along the inside of the skin and it should just slip right out. And so for this recipe, we only need half of an avocado. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. I'm just gonna do a nice dice where we're gonna slice one way and we'll take it and we'll slice the other way. All right, so now you have your avocado. So go ahead and we'll set that off to the side and I'll go ahead and start work on my tomatoes. So tomatoes, you'll cut one end off. And if your tomato skin is a little hard to get through, sometimes it's nice to switch to a serrated knife. So we'll go ahead, get this tomato nice and diced, because um, this also requires a dice. So again, we'll cut one way across the tomato. And yeah, I'm starting to have a hard time, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my serrated knife. So a serrated knife, it's got those little jagged edges. Um, so go ahead and take that, and that just really gets through that skin a lot easier. So just go ahead, slice one way, then slice the other way, and we'll do that for both halves. And this will probably get a little slippery on you, so you don't have to make them a terribly small dice. Just get them kind of cut down to where they're, they're nice, easy pieces to eat. All right, so we've got our tomato done and the recipe can tell you kind of your general guidelines of how much you want. Uh, my timer is once again going off, so we'll come back. Uh, we will do one more check on that quinoa. And it looks, ooh, I think that's done. Yes, I'm not seeing any more liquid, awesome. So we're gonna set that to the side. Um, the last thing we have to chop is our scallions, or our green onions, pardon me. Scallions and green onions, very easy to confuse. Um, so I've just got one bunch from the grocery store. And we'll go ahead and cut, I'm just gonna do one for now because I'm, I'm really just doing a small, small batch. So we'll just slice these so it gives you a nice little oniony bite without being too overpowering, like if you were to use a raw onion. This is designed um, to be really quick, really simple, easy dish to come together. So we've got our avocado, we've got our tomato, we've got our scallions. Um, in this bag right here, we've got our corn. So I'll go ahead and tear that open. I went ahead and already steamed this in the microwave so it's cooked. So really we're kind of, we're ready to put stuff together. So got a bowl here and what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and put some quinoa in down in the bottom of the bowl. So um, when you were, if you were making a full or a, the recipe amount, you would go ahead and divide this among four bowls because this is for four people. Um, so the final piece, I went ahead and took four eggs and scrambled them together. So we've got just a little bit of egg there, divided up into four. So there we go, quinoa breakfast bowl.